Tourism is essential to Tanzania's economy and its hotel industry is growing. A recent report from PricewaterhouseCoopers says that revenue in the sector was up over 15% last year, with growing numbers of visitors coming in from the Asian market, particularly India and China, following the launch of direct flights into the country. CGTN's Daniel Kejo filed this report. Exotic wildlife and palm fringe beaches draw tourists to Tanzania. So many, the sector already earned 17.5% of the country's GDP. The government is keen to woo more travelers. It recently conducted tourism roadshows in the U.S., India, and China, using Tanzania's embassies abroad to market the country as a holiday destination. It's also encouraging hoteliers to improve their service. Adam Foyer is a designer who travels all over Africa to show his work. He says he has noticed a difference. But now even there's a growth in the professionalism as well. Yes, you have the hospital, you know, the warm people, the welcoming Tanzanian, which we are famous known for. But when you combine that with the hospital, you know, this professional management, then you have something which, you know, people travel from the rest of the world to come just and have experience. Lucinda Nordsch manages Slipway Hotel, a popular tourist destination on Dar es Salaam's coast. She says there are many things that tourists look for in a good hotel. A good hotel location is very important. Uh, the comfortable bed, uh, nice amenities, luxury amenities in the, ho in the hotel rooms, space, wireless internet, good reliable internet is very important. So those are all great views, of course. Those are all and cleanliness and good service. According to the Tanzania Tourism Board, the number of tourists per year has doubled since 2010, reaching one and a half million last year. It's expected that more hotel rooms, a strong economy, growth in tourism from India and China and Tanzania's appeal as an exciting destination will contribute to growth over the next five years. But the sector still faces challenges. Hotel owners say bureaucratic obstacles and high taxes can make it hard to get a new business off the ground. AJ Badwara has been in the hotel business for 20 years, working all over the world. He says some Tanzanian officials demand bribes from hotel owners. We are a running hotel. We are a running organization. Few things here and there will always be wrong and right. But just because of few things here and there wrong and right, you are punishing very big and you are harassing us. It demoralizes, you know, and demotivates a hotelier to do the business. Experts say the tourist industry here still needs more investment to encourage more travelers from around the world to sample the Tanzanian sun. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam.